you know what it all boils down to. Is that the one thing that matters is love. And true love is not about something. Anything that is about something is based on condition, which is based on temporarily the conditioned mind receiving something it desires. True love lives in the feeling of being. It lives in the unified field in which everything appears. <coughs> the connecting with it begins with the connecting with what is called your heart which initially is felt in the chest. But when there is a falling all the way into it, what is felt is there is nowhere it is not. That the body appears within it as opposed to it being defined inside a region of the body. What is discovered is that when you are in touch with it, what is appearing is moving under the guidance of love. If it is at a period in time where there is burning, and it is not possible to access this, true love receives the offer. In receiving the offer, it is burning away what blocks you from your heart. The feeling of the heart, the feeling of love, is the feeling of stillness. The ability to receive the offer is remaining still in the face of the appearance of agitation. It is not a getting away from anything. It is not a movement towards or away from. It is not a movement. It's remaining still. If all of the attention moves into the experience of agitation, it is just remaining with that. It can only be experienced as agitation or pain or depression if you are separated from it by a mental label. But unconditional love is not separate from anything. It is the receiver of everything. When you really begin to get the nature of your own being, which translates into this deeper and deeper trust of all things, then the chasm between suffering 
and bliss begins to narrow and narrow and narrow until there is the recognition that all distinction is created by the conditioned mind. And it takes the most trust and the most love to receive what it is conditioning is most afraid of. And the more intense that is, the more love and resolve and trust it takes. But no matter what the level of intensity, if the trust is all the way through, if the resolve to remain is all the way through, if the resolve to receive no matter what it is, is all the way through. What is discovered is there is only one thing, and that is the love. What is discovered is that is all that there has ever been. And its nature is that it is pure light. And out of this pure light, there is the taste. <clears throat> of pure joy. It is what lives deep underneath play, like the ocean in a storm, remaining completely still and unchanged, whether the surface is wildly turbulent or relatively calm. The ocean is all water, just as reality is all love. All joy. It is not in the perception. The perception is the reflection. The re reflection can only be received when it is tasted within the feeling of your own heart. Otherwise, it is the habit of distraction. When it is experienced within the feeling of your own heart, that feeling overpowers the perceptive experience that arises in the finite location of the body. then the experience of time is replaced by the taste of what is timeless. Then separation is replaced 
by the realization of the oneness, and the oneness is the love, and the love is God, and God is what is. And every single offering, whether it is in the scale of pleasure or pain, it is arising out of this wisdom that will and does do everything possible to break the illusion free. It is the recognition that the Divine Mother, God, the Self, whatever name wants to be offered, is longing for you. Every single thing that comes down the pike is the byproduct of that longing. that nothing is ever playing other than that. It is moving everything that appears to move, speaking everything that appears to speak, acting everything that appears to act. In this amazing wisdom, And the role as the recipient is imbibing the love that you are. And that is done by remaining still, receiving the grace, feeling the heart. Forgoing the habits that create the experience of me and other, while recognizing if it is forgotten, it is the will of pure wisdom that is at the helm. And taking in the humbling that is always being offered in this moment which is the only thing there ever is.